All right, what's up guys? All right, so I'm off again today and uh, really wanted to start getting prep work done uh, for the roll cage. I am not building it. Uh, I'm having somebody build it, but I want to do as much prep work as possible. Uh, that way it saves him time and it saves me money. Um, so I'm just basically going through the entire cab, uh, ripping everything out 100%. And the only thing that's gonna get, be bolted back in is the seat to drive it down to where it needs to go. Well, I'll, probably, I'll have to put both seats in there because he has to set up the harness bars. But uh, yeah, so carpet's gonna be ripped out today. Um, I gotta pull my little center console area out that has all the wiring for the lights on it, which is gonna kind of be tricky because I wanna keep that all there. So he's gonna have to work around that a little bit. But I'm just trying to get it as prepped as possible. So, uh, yeah, let me show you what I got going on. My last day off, I went ahead and just started taking all the trim pieces out of here. The way that we're going to be building the cage, uh, we're not going to take the dash out. So he's going to work all the way around that. Anyway, seats are coming out. Uh, carpet's coming out. Center console's unbolting for now. It's going to be bolted back in. Um, everything else up front, aside, uh, you know, well, yeah, everything up front actually is going to stay in there. I'm going to pull the uh, sun visors off and all this stuff all this metal uh bracing for the roof skin uh, actually has to come out too and the only way to get that out is to cut it out so that's uh that's my job today is to get this whole thing gutted cut all that stuff out and then bolt the seats back in and i just went to harbor freight and bought a face shield because i'm gonna have that grinder right in my face uh for I would say an hour or two so that's my job today uh, I'm gonna get after it forward to a couple hours later um, I'm about 90% done uh, what I did is cut out all this inner skin that stuff will be in the way of the tubes so went ahead and just see cut all the way around except for the front I kind of wanted to leave a little bit of bracing up there I know it's not gonna matter once the cage is in but um, I don't know I don't think I need to cut that much out anyway I just got to take these out from the uh, original Sun visors I did pick up some new sun visors. I'll show you guys those later. But uh, yeah, so I just uh, vacuumed everything out. I'm still gonna wipe it all down. I know that's a little excessive because it's just gonna get thrashed again when uh, Mike puts the cage in. But I just want it as clean as possible and as prepped as possible and as ready as possible for him to just get her done. There's just so much stuff going on on this. Uh, on the other side is the uh, line lock. I kind of just want to leave that there and he'll just have to work around it. Uh, so I hope it's not an issue. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna start uh, scraping this stuff off. Sprayed them all with Goo Gone and they're soaking right now. I already got one off and it's uh, it's coming off pretty easy. So once that's done, I will uh, kind of get some soap and water and wipe everything down. Give Mikey a clean slate and throw the seats back in. And that's pretty much gonna be it for prep. So I'll just keep updating whenever I get a chance. And uh, there's obviously other stuff uh, coming up and Hopefully I can get some video of that. Uh, but yeah, all right, see you guys.
All right, guys, hold on a second. Let me pause this. All right, so let's fast forward. Truck is here in the garage. Cage is done. I'm adding all my little touches to it. Uh, gonna uh, add this. So today I am working on mounting the sub box back here. So uh, basically I'm just building a little cradle for it and it's gonna have a uh, ratchet strap that goes over the top of it to hold it down. That's basically how it was before, but it was laying here, you know, just strapped to the floor. So we're gonna get that all settled in. Um, I'll show you guys what it's gonna look like with the seat in all done. Um, I'm basically running out of material, so I'm using a bunch of scrap stuff, which I didn't really want to, but it's just a sub box. It's not going to need a ton of support, um, but it, it will it will hold up. But I'm using some old metal that uh, I'm going to have to clean up pretty good. So I've already got one side in, so it's it's sitting there uh, solid mounted already, and I just have that old mag light holding it up, uh, making sure everything's level. Going to come to here is I got to take these pieces. I got to clean that one up a little bit more still. This one's definitely, you know, thrashed old stuff that was sitting in the backyard. And then just to have enough of everything, I have to weld these together, you know, clean up the seam, make it look like one solid piece. So that's what I'm going to be working on right now. Also, don't mind my mess. I'm usually never like this. This garage is completely thrashed. Um, usually I weld little pieces like that up, uh, on my table. Obviously that's not going to work, so I'm going to have to get everything on the ground. Um, got everything just everywhere and that's just I guess that's just how it is I've never taken on a project this big I guess the biggest project I've done on the truck was the bed cage myself and I mean yeah it was a little bit of a pain but it didn't definitely not like this so I this is this is all new to me I'm never like this this stuff's been sitting here for a, a couple weeks now and all this interior pieces over here there's just just stuff everywhere all right I need to shut up keep going see ya